Hey everybody, Michael here playing Final Fantasy VI Advance. Um, if you weren't watching the last video, I started this boss fight against the Fiend, who fiendishly killed all my characters. And I thought I was done for, except Eric, Eric who is a snowman yeti, seems to be invulnerable to Fiend's attacks, because Fiend is an ice-based monster. So you know what that means? I think that means I can just sit here and not do anything while Eric defeats this monster. At least I hope that's the case. It would be a great end to a boss fight which was doing very poorly. Why is Eric missing every attack? I don't like the sound of that. And now Fiend is landing attacks. Ooh, Eric, come on, heal faster, buddy, faster. I mean, Eric's doing like 500 damage on each attack. That's, that's good, right? Not 500, 5,000. Come on, Fiend, cast more blizzard attacks and heal him. I don't know. It looks like Eric might or might not make it through this fight alive. Oh, he made it through alive. Way to go, Eric. I think this is twice Eric has won a fight for me after all the other characters in his party have died. Wow. I am so lucky. And our heroes have destroyed a statue. I don't know why they're destroying statues. I thought they were supposed to be killing Kefka. Although, I don't know. Maybe there's a reason they're destroying these statues. I seem to remember right before they started the attack on Kefka's tower, there was some discussion about destroying the Esper gods, which made no sense whatsoever because our heroes are supposed to be they're supposed to be destroying Kefka, not the Esper gods. I'm not quite sure. I think the idea. I think the idea is that Kefka is getting his powers from the Esper gods, so we destroy the Esper gods. We, therefore, destroy the Espers, therefore, destroy the source of Kefka's power. But, that seems like a stupid idea, because our buddy Vanjie, she's half Esper, and that would kill her. And, I don't want to see Vanjie die. I like her. She's one of my favorite characters. And there goes my last green cherry. Let's use some high potions. Man, potions are so useless in this game. I mean, they're not useless per se, but here at the end of the game, they're pretty useless. And I think these are supposed to be the statues. The statues that were on top of the floating continent. Yeah, Kefka pushed them aside and was therefore able to destroy the entire world. Don't know how that works, but it works. And this is looking like an easy boss battle.
Whoa! Somehow Risho got like a thousand damage? Never mind. Not easy anymore. Yeah, Risho's dead. protect me, that means she's forcing one of our characters to take the damage whenever we attack. Okay, I get it. I get it. So when she does the protect me move, wait a while before attacking again. Before attacking again. Sit and wait a while, I guess. Let's use a phoenix down on our buddy, uh, Risho. This isn't looking good. her. Ooh, and Banjo's the only one who knows the spell to bring people back to life. Okay, I gotcha. I'll try it. A full power Bushido attack. As a last ditch effort to stop this person. Godspeed, Risho. Risho, you let me down, buddy. You let me down pretty badly. Am I ever going to see him perform a full power attack? Sometimes I worry. Oh hey, the boss has been defeated. Excellent. Wait, no, I don't want to use Phoenix down on the enemy. Oh, thank goodness. Excalibur, that has to be an awesome sword, yes? 